Okay, let's talk about the Alex math placement test. So the Alex uh, test or the math placement test is a very, very popular um, test uh, system. It's really the Alex system. There's modules and, and everything else in between there. But if you are watching this video, I assume you are preparing for the Alex uh, test. Okay, and of course, it has to do with math placement. So if you're going off to college, your university or college is going to have you take the Alex. There's other tests out there, but the Alex is uh, one of the most popular uh, tests. And depending on how well you do, is going to determine your math placement. You should hopefully understand that already. But uh, you know, the Alex covers a wide span. You know, of like basic math, pre-algebra, algebra, geometry. You know, um, algebra two, pre-calculus. I mean, it's it's a whole span to determine where to place you. Okay, because some of you're going to place into a basic math course in college and other you others of you are going to place into calculus it all depends on what you know and the alex uh, math placement test is going to be measuring your skills so you need to get familiar with what's going to be on the alex but essentially you're going to have to be you know um as uh, up to speed as possible uh in high school mathematics if you expect to do super well on the alex so we're talking about a lot of algebra talking about a lot of geometry and more advanced math like uh, things you learn in Algebra 2 and pre-calculus where there's trigonometry, et cetera, et cetera. But um, what I have here is a super easy problem, okay? And I want you to graph y equals negative x squared plus 4. All right, so this is a pretty basic uh, algebra problem. And just give me a quick sketch of it. Now, if you're fully prepared uh, to do fairly well on the Alex, you should be able to knock this out. Now, if you can't do this, if you don't remember, don't panic. I'm going to cover this here in a second. But uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I am the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. And I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. But uh, basically, I have 100 plus different math courses ranging from pre-algebra to pre-calculus and everything in between. So uh, for those of you at the middle school, high school, or college level, obviously you're probably at the high school level in terms of your mathematics. I can help you excel. So if you're uh, right now, let's say you're taking an Algebra 2 or a pre-calculus course, I can help you with that course along with the Alex because I have a specific Alex math test prep course. It's a very, very popular course uh, that I offer and a lot of people have used it uh, successfully, okay? Now, what's the key to preparing for the Alex? One is to, you know, study hard, and two, give yourself as much time as possible because there is a lot of math skills. The more time, the more math, you know, the more time you study, the better, the stronger your skills are, the better you're going to do on the Alex, the better your placement's going to be. So if you're trying to cram, you know, last minute for the Alex, then, you know, you, you can't expect to be fully 100% prepared for your potential. So hopefully you're watching this video early, but I'm going to leave a link to my Alex math prep uh, course also in the description of this video. By the way, if you homeschool, I have an excellent homeschool uh, curriculum. And if you don't have any math notes, you can use my math notes as well. I'm going to leave links to those in the description of this video, but let's go ahead and get into this problem. So we want to graph this just a quick sketch. This will take all about Oh, I don't know, 15 seconds to do. But the main idea here, if I want to graph this y equals negative x squared plus 4, I need to understand what's the base function here. What is the base uh, shape? Okay, so here I have this negative in front of this x squared plus 4. But really, I'm most interested in, hey, can you even uh, graph y equals x squared? What is this? What are we talking about here? Okay, hopefully... Uh, those who are out there saying, oh, isn't that a parabola? And if uh, you said that was a parabola, then I must go ahead and give you a nice little happy face with a check mark. That's correct. Okay, this is the base um, uh, graph or equation for a parabola, okay, a happy parabola. Now, we need to know about transformations uh, with parabolas. That's what this pro particular problem is around. So let me just quickly sketch this, and I'll, I'll kind of be explaining this problem uh, but we'll just do a quick crash course on this. So y equals x squared is a parabola where the vertex goes through the origin. Okay, the vertex is the, where the parabola turns. It's the maximum or minimum. So here's our little parabola y equals x squared right here. And the vertex is at 0, 0. Now, what I can do, right, if I add a number to it like 4, well, I'm going to shift the parabola which way? Am I going to, is it going to go this way, this way? 
this way or this way? Go ahead and put your answer in the comments, okay? Is it going to go up, down, left, or right? What do you think, right? Think about that for one second. Hopefully, you said it's going to move this thing up, up uh, how many units? Four units. One, two, three, four. So when I have a number, when I add or subtract a number on the outside of this uh, function, it will move, it will translate that function. It, by, the, by the way, this applies to um, uh, other functions other than just a parabola. So this will move this up four, okay? So that's what's going to happen. It's going to move our nice little parabola up four. Okay, so now let's talk about the other aspect to this. We have a negative sign in this particular problem. Uh, so what does that do to our parabola? Well, just know that when you have a parabola and it's y equals x squared, okay, let's just focus in on the x squared part over here, okay? When you, the coefficient, the number in front of the x, it could be uh, any number. It could be like uh, 2, 3, 5. doesn't make a difference. We're looking at the sign. If the sign is positive, you're going to have a nice, positive, happy parabola. See that happy parabola? Here, I'll just kind of draw this a little bit better here. Uh, we have a nice, happy parabola. That parabola is very happy to be a parabola, okay? So again, when uh, the value, the sign in front of the x squared is positive, you have a happy uh, parabola. When it's negative, like a negative x squared, like in our particular problem, well, what do you have? You have a parabola that would rather have been a line or an ellipse or a circle. That parabola is sad, okay? So just remember... This is a uh, reflection, okay? Uh, you're going to flip it upside down. This parabola is going to get flipped. So we're going to have to consider, uh, uh, in this particular problem, there's two things going on, right? So let's go back up here. We have uh, a transformation. We're moving the parabola up, okay, this x squared, and then we also got to flip it. So let's go ahead and put this all together, and let's go ahead and just start with our base function again. We'll start off with uh, y equals x squared right there. All right, we'll just kind of do this all uh, a little by little. So we're going to go up. We'll apply this four. Okay, we'll show each one here. One, two, three, four. So I'm going to move this one up. Okay, so let me go ahead and let me use a different color here. All right, that's basically the same parabola, but now this is y equals x squared plus 4, okay? So here's my base parabola. Now I moved it up uh, 4, but now I got to flip it, okay? So when I flip it, it's going to be what? It's going to be basically this is going to be, it's still at 4, but it's going to be flipped upside down like this, all right? So this is our final answer. Y equals negative x squared plus 4, all right? So this is, this one right here, in white is the parabola that is correct. All right, so if you got that right, I must reward you with a nice happy face with a good old 1987 Mohawk, an A+. I think that, you know, that's a good indication that you, you know, you're on board with some basic algebra, right? If you Now, if you didn't get this right, that's probably um, a pretty good indication that you have a lot of work to do in terms of reviewing algebra. But if you did get this right, don't be overconfident as well because there's a lot more <laughs> math on the Alex uh, math placement test than this. This is a fairly basic type of problem, right? So again, should you work as hard as possible to do well on the Alex uh, math placement exam? Absolutely, all right? It's, you know, it's critical that you place in um, you know, as high of a math course as you possibly can, because what are you going to do? All right. If you, uh, you know, basically place in to the highest level of your potential. Okay. Whatever that is, that is, but here's the thing. If you place in lower, all right, you're going to be wasting two things. You're going to be wasting time and you're going to be wasting money. All right. These are two huge resources. Okay. So you don't want to end up going into a math course that you already know about. You want to be like, Hey, I know this stuff. Let me place into the next math course. So if you, for example, have taken pre-calculus, you want to land in calculus, right? If you, you know, are taking um, algebra two, you don't want to um, land into college algebra necessarily. You want to try to get to the highest level, but you're definitely going to have to review and work hard to do well on an Alex math placement test. It's not that easy. All right. So again, 
I'm going to leave a link to my Alex Math Placement uh, Test Prep course in the description of this video. Check it out. I think you'll be very impressed by it. Uh, I've had tons of people uh, go through this uh, course successfully. But again, it's all about what you make of it, one, and two, how much time you're going to give yourself to study. But if this little video was interesting and helped you out in some small way, don't forget to smash that like button. That definitely helps me out. And if you're not uh, a subscriber to my channel, Hopefully you'll consider subscribing. I have a ton of uh, videos that can help you prepare for the Alex Basic to Advanced Mathematics, but my best math help uh, will be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in all your, mathematic, math, all your mathematics adventures and on the Alex Math Placement Test. Thank you for your time and have a great day.